as you can see, I'm in pretty much of a shitty place right here. Uh, down by the palm wood, and uh, the winds are still pretty strong coming off the lake. Uh, airy right here, and uh, pretty close. I'm about five feet above the uh, beach level here, but the water's still coming up. So I've got to keep an eye on what's going up behind me. Hey guys, welcome to Nigel's Jeep Vlogs. My name is Nigel Hay and welcome to Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and today we're down in uh, the area where I live actually, I'm in the Fort Erie region. We're down by the Palmwood which is uh, Ridgeway and Crystal Beach and it's pretty stormy as you can tell. So uh, I'll show you around, I'll show you exactly what it looks like down here during a good storm. Uh, we've got surfers down here, we've got tourists down here, we've got a bit of everything. So uh, let's go and have a look around and uh, see what destruction and fun we can find. Right now at about 80 kilometers an hour and uh, the waves are pretty good uh, my lens is all getting kind of like all messed up here but I'll try and get you some good footage so uh, stick around and uh, I'm sure we'll get some beach level here but the water is still coming up so I've got to keep an eye on what's coming up behind me tip here of the uh, Palmwood area of the boat launch for Crystal Beach and oh there's a big one Woo! right in my face so I don't know if it's picking it up but I might have to move in a minute because it's getting a little uh, a little rough here there we go here's a big one right behind me and my screens that's all of a sudden stopped working there's actually quite a few people surfing here today uh, it might be a lake uh, but you can still surf in the lake as long as the weather conditions are good enough like they are today you don't get quite the swell as you would in the sea uh, but the waves are big enough to surf it
tell you what, I just absolutely love wild weather. Wilder the weather, the better. That's what I can say. Sorry, that's all I can say. Whew. All right, uh, back in the truck. We're going to drive down towards Fort Erie and try and get some other shots of uh, the Fort Erie area. Uh, it is uh, it's pretty cool out here. The weather's uh, stormy. Definitely stormy. All right, while we did that last segment, a bloody big wave came in and uh, came out through the window. Got me drenched. Got the interior drenched. Got water everywhere. I was actually just parked right there. <laughs> Ooh. All right, it looks like the winds are starting to die down a little bit here. I've now moved down to uh, uh, Bernard Beach here in Ridgeway. And the water level is extremely high. So uh, I'll show you what it's like here. Oh, hang on, we're getting back into the wind again here. So, all right, there's no beach. The beach is gone. As you can tell, it's gone. I'm gonna try and sneak around the corner and uh, see how bad it is uh, without getting wet. Here it goes. Well, the storm was strong enough to bring this up. There's uh, going to be quite a few logs around here tomorrow. So I think I'll come down and have a look. <laughs> I'm going to go for a walk, but uh, this is all washed up. In the last uh, couple of hours. Hey, oh, <laughs> that was close. So I found a tidal mark. So I'm standing right at it, so... Two hours ago, the water was right up here. I don't know why it's closed. But we'll see how far we can get. That is insane. <laughs> The beauty of having a truck. You can drive right into it. It's actually quite deep. But yeah, normally uh, we walk down there with the dogs. Heavy rains we had yesterday, which we had about 30, 40 millimeters of all come running down. And then uh, the strong winds and the storm surge has actually pushed all the water from the far end of Lake Erie and pushed it really high up here. And now it's all swollen and uh, flooded. Oh, bless you little creature. Yeah. Just on the other side of the trees is the beach. Uh, we were just down there, about 500 meters to the left. That's Bernard Beach. Uh, so the beach is just behind the, the hill. You can actually hear this, the lake from here. And this is the other side. Okay, we're down in Fort Erie. Uh, just behind me is the Peace Bridge. And over to the States is Buffalo. Uh, we're gonna check out uh, what description we can find down here and how bad it is. All right, I'm gonna try and get over there. There's a break in the wall, which uh, I don't know if it was caused by the storm. That might be been there since last winter, I'm 100% sure. But I'm gonna try and get over there. Well, it's official right now. I got wet feet. The ground was a little bit more flooded than I expected. <laughs> I thought it was dry there, but I'm totally wrong. All right, this is pretty interesting. Okay, this is definitely fresh damage. You can tell just by looking on the ground, it's, uh, it's pieces all over the place, so yeah. So uh, yeah, it's, those, the water was strong enough to damage the wall. This wall got damaged just further down due to the ice, uh, if you recall earlier on this year. And now the water's just broken this away completely. Oop, it's still coming over. I'm not gonna get too close to the edge because I don't want to get swept away by it because that's a nasty river. If you go in there, you're gonna be dropped off at the falls, trust me. That's pretty 
sad looking, eh? You might recognize this behind me. Uh, this is where the, uh, the big wall of ice came back in the winter and took out the wall right here. Well, they've been trying to repair it. It looks like they have to start all over again. Uh, because there's no wall there anymore. It's, uh, it's gone again. The fencing they had up, uh, for the construction has also disappeared. It's been flattened. Uh, there's a couple of machines here, which seems to be pre precariously close to the water. Hopefully not gonna get too close, but what I can see is the water is being blown down the park here. And it looks like there's a big hole in the ground, like a sinkhole. So I can see waves coming out. So I can see the water pouring in. At the same time, when a wave comes, it splashes back up and that's inside the park. So there's definitely a hole underneath here somehow. It's a shame I missed the uh, majority of the storm, which I was here earlier. So anyway, until the next storm, um, that's it. But I tell you what, it is we're nearly into November. It's that time of year we do get a lot of storms. So uh, the next one for sure, I'm definitely coming out of the video and uh, I'm going to be in the middle of it, hopefully, and getting some good footage. Until next time, folks, uh, make sure you like and subscribe my channel at Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. Like, subscribe, and uh, more vlogs on the way very soon. Thanks.